you. Couldn't let you travel alone with Aunt March being so sick. Even if you despise me. I don't despise you, Lord. Beth was the best of us. I'm not marrying Fred. I heard about that. And you are under no obligation to say anything or do anything. I just didn't love him as I should. So we don't need to talk about it. We don't need to say anything. My dear Teddy, I miss you more than I can express. I used to think that the worst fate was to be a wife. I was young and stupid. But now I have changed. The worst fate is to live my life without you in it. I was wrong to turn you down and to run away to New York. Glad to see me then. Yes. No, oh, I was worried. Oh. Here, come sit. How's Amy? Did she bother you all the way from Europe with her preening? Yes, but I like that. <laughs> Where is she now? Did she not come straight home? Your mother has her down at Meg's. We stopped on the way. Oh. There was no getting my wife out of their clutches. Your what? I've done it now. That was meant to be a surprise. We were engaged and we were hoping to wait, but that is to say that now we are man and wife. You and Amy? Yes. Are you in love? Yes. Joe, I want to say one thing, and then we'll put it away forever. I've always loved you. But the love I feel for Amy, it's different. And I think y you were right about this. I think we would have killed each other. Yes. I think it was meant this way. Oh, Teddy. You're the only one that ever calls me that, Joe. Teddy. What does Amy call you? My lord. That sounds like her. <laughs> well, you look deserving of it. Could we still be friends, Joe, please? <laughs> of course, my boy. Always. Larry told you? Yes, yes. Amy, I'm so happy for you. This this was meant to be. Oh, I'm so relieved. Thank you. I wanted to write, Joe. I wanted to write, and I wanted to explain everything, but everything was happening so fast, and really, I was worried you'd be angry at me. No, no. No, you're not angry at me. 
Life is too short to be angry at one's sisters. <laughs> I really miss her. I know. Thank you. Mr. Lawrence. Joe. Uh, oh, Joe. I couldn't bring myself to, uh... The house doesn't seem right without her, and... Couldn't go in knowing she wouldn't be there. I know I'm not half so good as my sister, but you know, I'll be a friend to lean on if you let me. Dear Mr. Dashwood, enclosed are the first few chapters of a piece I've only begun working on. It could suit as a story for young people, but I think it is probably quite boring. However, I'm sending it to you just in case it has something of value, though I doubt it. Joe March. <laughs> 